Hello, my dear young friends. A very warm welcome to another session of uh, e-content learning. In today's uh, session, the topic for discussion is interview. A very interesting and uh, highly useful topic, uh, uh, not only from your examination point of view, but also from your uh, uh, future point of view. Well, uh, all of you, uh, definitely once you pass out of your uh, college or uh, university, uh, will definitely have to uh, look out for uh, suitable jobs. And uh, interview definitely is uh, one step, uh, one very vital step uh, before you join uh, any uh, very good job, in fact. Uh, so it pay, it is really quite important that uh, interview skills are uh, definitely uh, you know something which has to be uh, polished and uh, you know practiced uh, very well uh, so that uh, you will land uh, a very good job uh, in uh, whichever uh, you know field you choose to. Uh, well, uh, not only for uh, our graduates who pass out of this, uh, uh, you know, college system of education and university system of education. Uh, well, uh, the interview skills are also important for uh, uh, those of you who are um, aspiring for uh, higher uh, great jobs, such as uh, very eminent positions, uh, which require one uh, to pass the Union uh, Public Service Commission uh, which uh, holds the Indian Administrative Services Examination almost uh, you know every year. So your interview skills are not only uh, you know crucial for your selection and for your entry into the prestigious uh, services uh, such as uh, IAS service IPS, IRS, and uh, so on. There are a whole lot of uh, services and uh, the interview uh, is one crucial uh, step uh, which will uh, definitely help you either to get into a service or miss out of a service also. Uh, that is why, especially in uh, Union Public Service Commission, the interview part is called as the personality test because it is not just uh, uh, trying to know you through the interview it is uh, kind of making an assessment of your entire personality because uh, interview uh, should not just be a formal process wherein you exchange a certain amount of information about uh, a particular subject or uh, about uh, yourself and the company where you are uh, you know trying to join interview should be a much more elaborate much more uh, detailed process and uh, it should try to bring out uh, the best in you that is the objective of an interview and now uh, uh, coming to how to develop your skills and uh, in today's uh, topic of uh, discussion we will focus on very basic and fundamental things such as what is an interview and what is the purpose of an interview how did this interview you know as a as a process for selection uh, come into being so this is very important step uh, uh, which is uh, very vital in the process of uh, selection Now coming to the basic uh, information about uh, interview. What is this interview all about? What is the meaning of interview? So as you can see, uh, interview has been derived from uh, you know this French and Latin word uh, which has the meaning of uh, seeing each other. Interview, inter means between, between and view is the vision or uh, you know the kind of view what you have across one another 
and generally what happens in an interview why do we need the structure of an interview so interview as you can see it is a formal meeting formal meeting wherein uh, people try to question uh, they you know the question about uh, uh, your background the question about uh, your knowledge and uh, sometimes it is also used to consult uh, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, before taking into any vital position into any job uh, they also evaluate uh, through interview whether a person is uh, suitable or uh, not suitable to any particular job so interview uh, actually has a very crucial role to play a very vital role to play in the selection of uh, candidates to any uh, you know crucial position uh, positions of uh, prominence positions of importance so you have an interview uh, wherein uh, a very uh, common entry level position also is being recruited through interview the position of a clerk the position of a probationary officer the position of uh, an ias officer the position of a ceo of a multinational company and the position of the chairman of a very prestigious multinational or fortune 500 company so interviews happen at various stages and interviews happen to bring out the best talent which is hidden which is latent in the candidates so my dear uh, friends my dear young friends uh, whether you are a graduate of uh, arts or whether you have graduated uh, in commerce or science uh, interview is one inescapable thing uh, in your life so uh, if you're trying to hone your uh, interview skills uh, it is definitely one thing uh, which will really uh, pay you very handsome dividends in the long run so generally uh, interview is a oral uh, process which happens through face to face communication because uh, the person who is interviewing the interviewer and uh, the interviewee both of them they have uh, uh, you know kind of a wavelength which is uh, very much visible in uh, the process of interview and if the wavelength uh, goes well then probably the chances of selection of that particular candidate may be much higher and sometimes uh, interviews also happen uh, with a kind of a panel so what is a panel so panel uh, generally means it is a group of people who are experts in their uh, own domain uh, suppose uh, if you are uh, appearing uh, you know for the interview maybe for the post of uh, accounts manager so the panel might uh, contain this the uh, the people who are in uh, very uh, important positions such as uh, the finance manager of the company or the chief financial officer or the accounts superintendent and uh, uh, you know people who are experts uh, in uh, such uh, domains so it is quite obvious that uh, people uh, who are uh, uh, more into the particular domain form the panel of uh, interview so like this we have very important uh, uh, you know kind of um, happenings uh, before the candidate uh, gets into uh, you know prestigious job any kind of job for example so then adding more to the information uh, what is being provided now uh, let it let us discuss about some uh, fundamentals some basic things uh, about interview like what is the purpose of an interview why interviews should happen what is the purpose of an interview that is the first question here so generally what we come to know from interview is it is a kind of a mutual exchange of information mutual exchange of information between an employer and between the candidate the prospective 
uh, candidate. Uh, so it is a kind of, uh, you know, uh, the, the exchange of information. I may be having some information which I need to know about the company. And the company also will have certain uh, parameters which it will take to evaluate a particular candidate. Because a company cannot just take someone as it is. The company also will have set its own parameters. It would have definitely had its own vision and uh, it would have been particularly looking for some candidates. So any candidate who fulfills the particular parameters uh, only will uh, find a place uh, in the company. So it's quite obvious that the candidate has to fulfill the parameters uh, which have been uh, set by the company. So then what purpose does this interview serve? What is the important purpose of this interview? Like all of you might know about uh, what is a resume. A resume is already given. So then group discussion happens and uh, uh, the final step before you uh, are selected is the interview. So the interview will definitely try to supplement what information has been given in your resume. So it's a kind of a supplement to the resume or more, uh, you know, moreover, it tries to act as a kind of a confirmation to uh, what information you have given in your resume. And then uh, the interview will also help to uh, show your strengths and weaknesses and uh, in what kind of direction you are uh, headed for. Because a company or uh, an organization has to definitely um, uh, assess your strengths and weaknesses uh, so that it finds the candidate's suitability to the organization. And the interview, what, it, what exactly it does is, it will enable the employer to evaluate your personality and your attitudes, uh, you know, in terms of the demands of organization and uh, the position. Because an, an organization will definitely have its own demands, whether you are able to uh, meet those demands and whether you are able to uh, perform well in the position uh, to which you have applied for. So these uh, particular things uh, can be assessed and can be gauged during the process of interview. Because an interview, uh, as I told you in the earlier uh, uh, part of my discussion, the interview generally acts as a kind of a personality test. Because it is not like you can uh, change your personality overnight for the sake of an interview. It is quite obvious that uh, you cannot uh, definitely paint, uh, you know, black as white just as just overnight because uh, some things are very inherent and some things are very much intrinsic, uh, which cannot be uh, changed, uh, you know, that easily and uh, overnight. So in that way, what uh, you must understand is interview is a kind of uh, test of your personality, uh, which uh, cannot be changed uh, drastically or overnight and the one more purpose of interview what comes to my mind is it will allow it will allow you to gain some information about your organization and the job uh, that is you know of being offered to you because during the course of interview uh, you also can discuss uh, your clarifications regarding uh, the company like uh, what are the projects of the company and uh, whether uh, you if you fit the bill and whether you are uh, uh, you know feeling that you are capable of doing uh, justice to the organization so these things can definitely be uh, discussed uh, during the process of interview so interview definitely has uh, this kind of you know multiple uh, process multiple advantages of interview because interview it is not just trying to see one another in a formal meeting it is like trying to know more about uh, each other 
because the company tries to know more about the candidate and the candidate in turn tries to know about the company and uh, he tries to assess whether I am capable uh, to live up to the expectations of the company. Although it may be a little too premature to say, but still interview definitely has uh, a very long way to go uh, before uh, offering uh, a job to any particular candidate. And then uh, interview definitely is uh, a two-way process because uh, it is like both the uh, the organization or the employer uh, who is trying to evaluate and uh, as a candidate you are trying to assess your suitability also to the company. So generally what uh, you must do uh, you know to prepare for an interview uh, is one very important thing because as you know interview is a very formal way. It is a very formal process of trying to you know assess the candidates uh, suitability or candidates worthiness to the company because it is not that all the candidates are suitable for a job because there may be 10 candidates uh, who are trying to you know contest for uh, a particular job and then what happens it is only the best candidate out of them uh, will definitely find uh, the job in the company and now coming to the interview context what is the context of interview there are so many different contexts of interview because interviews will happen at uh, very different places and for very different uh, you know purposes a particular interview may happen for a particular reason and it is not that all the interviews will happen uh, you know for the same purpose it's quite obvious and now coming to the very first uh, type of interview or in the very first context where the interviews are generally used so here uh, we come to know that uh, the employment interview employment interview is very important because most of you are, are definitely uh, trying to get the best jobs available in the market so your objective of securing a degree securing your uh, um, uh, bachelor's or later masters the objective is definitely to get a very good job so the very first context uh, of interview is the employment interview because the employment interview actually here it offers uh, one opportunity for both the candidate and uh, for for the organization as well because the candidate will come to know about the organization and obviously the employer uh, will come to understand what sort of a candidate he is get, trying to you know get for the service of his organization because this these things are very important for uh, any organization to you know uh, progress very well because uh, only if the organization gets suitable candidates then the performance will improve and obviously the productivity will go high because of which the company's profits will improve and then the company's uh, you know value in the market also will improve the company's share price will go up the demand for the shares of the company also will go up so all these things like uh, start from very basic things such as selection of the right candidates for the particular job. It is like uh, getting the right candidate, getting the right candidate at the right place is the first and foremost uh, purpose of any employment interview. And uh, moving further, uh, we have certain interviews in the context of uh, psychology and psychological research. In the field of psychology, generally there are so many opportunities for interviews. They, they, uh, the psychologists try to conduct interview of, you know, for the sake of their research. And they employ certain techniques and uh, certain methods and they try to, you know, uh, bring out uh, the hidden matters uh, of the behavior and of the mind 
so psychology also uh, and uh, you know employs the interview technique to bring out uh, the various information uh, which it needs to analyze uh, regarding the behavior and research and we have one more uh, interview uh, in the context of research so then the most of the uh, progress in academics is through research because only through research one can uh, try to know about uh, any kind of progress because research will try to uh, you know see in a very methodical way about uh, you know systematic uh, progress that has been happening in any field so in order to uh, you know uh, do more research interviews are also very important because through interviews one can uh, assess uh, what is the progress that has been happening and the research interviews are generally uh, employed in the field of marketing in the field of marketing research because we, whenever you try to understand whether a product is being uh, sold in the market or whether a product is much in demand for example a particular uh, you know soap has been uh, very successful in the market why because of uh, maybe the quality or because of the advertising and uh, what could be the reasons because of uh, because of which the particular soap is being sold in the market uh, at a very you know rapid pace what is the reason for that so then what happens some research has to be conducted and uh, uh, people are employed to do interviews they are employed to do research interviews and marketing research happens and all these things are definitely you know another aspect of interview because interviews as i told you they are conducted to give employment they are conducted to you know give information on research and now they are conducted to give information on marketing research and the products of market and also interviews the next part of uh, interviews we also use interviews uh, you know in the context of uh, academic research academic research especially for uh, those of us uh, doing our research uh, you know pursuing the uh, doctoral degrees the phd is especially the phd's and uh, uh, mphil of late mphil earlier uh, the academic research part also was very important because uh, given any topic of our uh, you know a uh, choice uh, we actually needed to do some research uh, some kind of field work was needed uh, so that uh, statistics was definitely built only by the uh, research work especially the field work so this interview technique is also very helpful even in the field of uh, research uh, so one must also appreciate uh, you know the purpose and use of interviews even in the field of uh, academic uh, research and uh, my dear friends uh, very interesting thing about interview as all of you are uh, definitely aware of the tv news channels and uh, various other uh, sources of information especially in the media the other context of interview is the uh, interviews which are held uh, by journalists journalists hold a very important position in the society and they say like media or the journalists uh, it is the fourth pillar of democracy the fourth estate as they are called the other three pillars being the legislature uh, executive and the judiciary and after all these three pillars it is the fourth pillar journalism or uh, media acts as the fourth pillar of democracy it is a kind of a watch dog of the democracy because uh, media definitely uh, tries to analyze 
the performance, the uh, what do you call uh, the negative aspects and the positive aspects of any policy uh, which has uh, a public impact upon it. Because this is very important thing. Uh, all the while, otherwise uh, the government can keep on doing what it is focused upon without even sometimes thinking about uh, the other aspects, whether the programs and policies are really fruitful or not. So media acts as a kind of a, you know, balancing agent in uh, any democratic uh, country. So now coming to the topic of interview, uh, interviews are again, as I told you, very important and uh, interviews conducted by the media and uh, uh, the journalists are also one important uh, you know aspect of interview so uh, so far what we have discussed is the different contexts of interview interviews are held in various different contexts the first one being the employment interview and the second one being the uh, psychological psychological interviews and uh, later the research or uh, research oriented interviews then we have the marketing research interviews and later you also can think about or focus upon academic research interviews and finally you have something uh, connected to journalism and journalistic interviews so uh, with these uh, uh, contexts of interview the first session uh, gives you a fair idea about uh, what is the purpose of interview and uh, what is the meaning and definition of the interview. In my next session, I will uh, discuss about uh, uh, the preparation for interview and what are the different stages in an interview. Uh, thank you, my dear friends, for uh, joining this uh, wonderful uh, discussion of uh, interviews.